Carried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Seen him. Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Hurry now, quick! Oh. You! You, where do I know you from, eh? Ah, right, the Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my eye. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. 
Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Hmm. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Look!
just wonderful. Child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you! Not kill it! Shut up before you wake someone. Last thing we need is a crowd. Fuck it! I don't blow and care, hear me? You killed my child! I killed a botchling. Your daughter died a while back. Go home. Get yourself together. I'll try to find your other daughter, the one who's still alive. What... what will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood, blood, blood. The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. All right, let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The White Wolf must follow the Pella. The Pella will show the way. We got a long way to go? No, it's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and then we. All this the parents' land? It is now. It were not before. So who did it belong to? On the Lord. Sarah, they call An evil man, either. Vile. Get not a lick for common folk. You won't get together and drive them away. When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields of fire, and a great hunger descended on us all, while the Lord in abundance wallowed, there in a tower of mice. But the old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. The plague of rodents swarmed the isle. At first, they ate all from the feast tables. Nelf guardians hit you pretty hard. Folk of fear here. It's their mighty concern themselves with the world. The invaders will be punished. That's true. They've done it, and they're ready to as the mice devoured the Lord's court. The place. What now? Light the fires. All right. No reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin.
fires. Watch them. Let nothing break the circle. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it, supposed to keep the fires lit. The blood of her blood, was she them bound? The blood calls. I'm leaving, Philip. Tamara's coming with me. I see her face swollen, pulsing with blood. Blood! Dark upon a pale visage. A drop trickles over bright gold. I am a fist clasped. I am darkened blood beneath a white nail. I am a tear of blood. Oh, are she the blood of the blood? Are she them bound? The blood summons me. A thick flow upon sleep. Dark blood upon a light stone. I am the unknown. I am blood. Immersed in blood. I... I am... lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. Thorny bow snag her. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Wojtek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of elder blood? Nay is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of elder blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? You all right? seen what he was meant to say. Third Vision seems most important. Mm, they were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons. Yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? is Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits. The spirits speak through the ritual, not he. What did you see first? The Pella saw the Baron and Mrs. Anna. They quarreled. He did not wish for her to leave. He shook her, but the Pella sensed no anger in him. He wounded her, and in the blood, the Pella sensed love. A love sad and tormented. Wojtek from your vision. Know him? Wojtek. Wojtek. Two Voitex have we near about. In Black Bow lives one. In his hut, there he stays, as for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. Time I was on my way. 
Thanks for your help. Refuse? Why, the Pella could never have refused. A man seeks to do good in life, but evil is unavoidable. The ones who encounter evil, why, they must be helped. Fare thee well, and may the gods bless and keep you. Here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Wojtek. I, I... They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. Of Mrs. Anna. That's another time. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah... Uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. He's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. Twa the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. By the death, old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted him, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. 
She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to marry a wise woman. Cry in shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the... Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. The garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. I'll never know which blooms would please my second daughter most. Damn shame. She brought death down on others. The sooner you start thinking of it that way, the better off you'll be. Can't deny that. Doesn't make it any easier to live with, though. Some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No. But I talked to the man who helped her escape, and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff Why? from some of Worthy of one of King Faltest feasts. Were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. 
The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, silly! Don't you embarrass us! Haggard as you think me. Congratulations. Unnecessary. Better you bid your sword farewell. I await my reward. What? Another chance to win. <laughs> 